what I would say to you is this. Be really, really careful when you're giving kids sets of stomach exercises. Now for me, the two young uns, yes, are capable of doing it. But certainly not going to make them do sets of 25. Always going to let the goalkeeper do a stomach exercise, making a save at the end of it. So to start with, so what I'm going to do, that's a good start. Knees nicely bent, and I'm going to serve the ball, side, back to the middle, side. Back to the middle, side. Yep, nice and easy, side to side. And I don't want him doing about any more than about three or four each side. So up, up your shoulder, yeah? And what I want you to do, is when you catch it, yeah, catch the ball, and then to there, twist back up, get the ball back to me, and I'll serve you there, twist up, and what you're trying to do now is work those muscles along the side as well, yeah, so it's nice and easy, no rush, it's not a race, so it's up, good lad, well done, up, super, lovely strength, well done, be putting Arnold Schwarzenegger out of business in a couple of years. <laughs> Fantastic, good. And again, doesn't need to be a massive set. And this time, I want you to catch the ball above, take it back, come up, get the ball back to me. Yep. Excellent stuff. Keep the knees bent. Super. Not massive load of reps, half a dozen at most. Not massive amount of racing in between it, give him his chance to work it. Good, well done. Just come in again for me. So this time, I'm just going to drop the ball into a hole. Yeah, so sit up, and I want you to use both hands, so get ready if it's coming that side. And you've got to catch it before it hits the floor. Yeah, so I'm going to drop it there. Now catch it, just catch it with your hands so you're just working that stomach forwards. Yeah. Good. A little bit of a variation. Good. 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 Just change it over again. Yeah, and I'm just going to walk you now. Drop it. Catch it. Yeah. So catch it before it bounces. Okay. In a stretcher. In a stretcher. Good lad. Always working that trunk. Using that using that midriff area to push your weight forwards. Good lad. Good. And just come in the perrier this time. So again, you can do the same sort of routine. You're going to throw the ball. Let me, let me take your place and see if you can see the picture. You're always going to throw the ball when you catch it down the stand there. From that side down there. I'm going to throw the ball. Remember the first one side to side. Cross you there. Right straight. Cross you, right straight, there. You're, you're good at this. <laughs> yeah. So you can see the picture. It's the same as the first one. But we're just doing it as a partnership. Yeah. I've never got this one right yet. I've been doing this for four years. I've been trying for ages to get it right. So. I'm going to throw the ball across you, you're going to throw the ball across me. Yep, nice and slow, go. And then you're going to have to throw the ball down there. Yep, down there. <laughs> See what I mean? So you start with a cross, and then it's just straight all the way. So go across me there, go across you there. Okay, so it's just about the service. Have a little go, see if you can get it going, chaps. So it's one cross and then you're straight all the way. Now what I would say now is, for me, he might be able to get this. And the question you've just asked is exactly right. This is too advanced for this little one. Yeah? Because he's all he's doing now, he's gone straight legged, he's laying back and he's trying to do that. And the risk to him hurting his back now has really, really increased. So don't just do stomachs for the sake of it. 
So I would say I wouldn't do that as far as that one with him. I'd keep it nice and simple, low reps at the end.